before the video a brief progress update on the actual One Punch Man challenge. Yes, it is in progress. I have been eating bananas. Um, but I'm also doing art grinds. Grinds are just something that really motivate me and I like to share in with you guys, so that's on my Instagram if you want to follow along with the progress. Expect more stuff like this in the future. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Today we begin One Punch Man's true main what I would call his main quest line to end slavery. Uh, we just met Tin Fist last time at the very end of the video. We met Tin Fist, but we didn't join the anti-slavers, so today we need to talk to a guy named Gray, who's actually going to accept us to be part of the anti-slavers. And since we have massive bounties on our heads, and we don't want to be recognized in any of the major cities as we go about conducting our tasks, we're going to need to get plastic surgery on both Saitama and Burn. So first we need to join the anti-slavers. Okay, we're going to talk to Gray, who's sitting right over here. He looks you up and down and smiles a sad smile. That's such a mysterious line, a sad smile. <laughs> Hivers look funny in that. Okay, a runaway slave. Yes, you. I heard you can help me. Uh, hiding slaves is what I do. Now hold still while I... Oh, so he's gonna do the... Great! Okay. Uh, yeah, we want to join the anti-slavers too. Well, he is completely good. Only a fool denies allies amidst a war, but freedom is a beautiful thing and you're lucky to have found it again, ex-slave. Think hard how you want to spend that newfound freedom. Uh, you can make allies with the- well, that's what we're here for. Uh, with the, tr the enemies with the traitor's guild- ooh. So the traitor's guild will hate us. You'll fight- I assume that's the slave trade, not just like trading fruits and vegetables or something. You'll fight- you'll fight- yeah, you'll fight for people's freedom, yet those very people will spit on you with that freedom. You'll fight for what is noble and high, but you'll live grim and low at battle for a simple loaf of bread. It is the price we pay to fight for what we believe in. Is it a price you can pay? Uh, <laughs> oh, I'll think about it. No, uh, we're totally gonna do it. Okay, great, so we hate the slave traders, and it looks like we're... I guess we'll have to do the same thing with... Oh, great, okay, so we want to leave Saitama as Saitama. Now, can we make Burn into... Ah, darn, you know what, we gotta... We gotta get rid of Burn's robo-tits. He's, he's been stuck with these things since I thought they were massive chest muscles when I first saw them. Damn, it's cool to be part of the anti-slavers, or at least visit their cities because they have really good shit, badass shit in their shops, so we're gonna get some decent clothing here. They've got dust coats, assassin rags, ninja rags, and just a whole lot of other crap. Alright, we're making out from this shop with some super badass shit, some ninja rags and some assassin's rags. I know it's not totally One Punch Man, it's kind of Van Helsing, but I mean it's still action hero, so it... It'll make us stronger somehow. And I think with that, somebody seems to have slain about 40 gorillas at the edge of town. It's probably time for us to go. We off to, we ought to be off to rid the world of slavery again, now that we're geared up finally at last. Now fortunately we can see our bounties from each kingdom. The Holy Nation does not care about us, the Shek Kingdom does not care about us, but the United Cities hates us. I don't like the Holy Nation because they're terrible people, uh, and they'll hate Burn regardless of whatever happens just because he's a skeleton. Um, but for Saitama, we're gonna- we're gonna basically try to destroy the United Cities and, or, you know, teach them a lesson by destroying them mostly and then the Holy Nation. That's- that's the most climactic way we can live now. But first, we need more money and training, so the only chill people are the Sheks. We're just gonna go, ooh, another gorilla. Okay, we'll attack this. Then we'll go get a lot of contracts from the Sheks and work for them until we are completely strong. Holy cow, that's 200 damage. Wow, that is bananas. Jesus. And I'm like, I'm completely okay with them both being martial artists now. And I think, oh, damn. That's so good. That's, no, don't first aid it. Even though that we're fighting for good, we're still killing, ooh. Gorillos for no reason. Well, let's either way. Let's both be martial artists work for the checks and be on our way Oh, these hives are actually really nice. They're offering us food and supplies not free. Oh, they're wheeling and dealing me Well, we just don't have enough money left. Goodbye Now there is one wanted criminal the leader of the red sabers the red bandit who seems to reside Right around here and we can hit that hideout then go back up to Squin. And he appears to be truly evil. I don't know why, but One Punch Man is now a combination of Morpheus, Van Helsing, and Stevie Ray Vaughn. 
along with maybe like, uh, like Billy Corgan of the Smashing Pumpkins. I just gotta say, damn, like, Kenshi is so much bigger than I ever gave it credit for. What is that? It looks bad. Let's fight it. We're gonna- Oh damn! Oh wow, we took out its whole foreleg! Sweet victory! Oh, there's a lot of them. They're very, very bad. Very bad. Spiders are bad. Okay, let's get this one too. Um, but it was helping us against this drone guard who hated us needlessly. Ooh! That was very mean. We kill mean people, or at least knock them unconscious and take off their clothes. Um, let's see, leather hive vest- We'll take your medicine, you can keep your purple clothes. Actually, this is good. I'm taking your purple plants, sorry man. Ooh, apparently the skin spiders and the beak things fight too. It's like the animal planet. My god, the water is beautiful. Ooh, we're going in the swamp again! I just gotta say that this is the perfect place for a group photo. I just gotta say, running through the swamp, I have this enormous feeling of nostalgia that Joe Lee Bindo from Knights of the Old Republic is gonna pop out at us. Okay, these people wanted to fight us, so we will fight them. It's too bad. I think I installed the Reactive World mod after I killed their leader, so they're probably still just running around. Either that or their world is just... Whoa! We hardly even touched him! I might have been using the Chi Blast right there. I didn't quite get a look at it, but it looked like there was some Chi coming out of my hands. Um, sure, it's not really making a difference. Stealth effect? Ah, I don't really like this mask for him, though. So let's just continue on toward our goal. Evil must be beaten up. There it is over yonder. Now this should house the Red Bandit. Okay, he should be right inside of this building. Very, very spooky, very spooky. Okay, let's just open the door. And wow, it was open. And he is- everyone here is red. I'm guessing he, who is the most brolic. Yeah, are we ready for this fight? Okay, we have a slight stomach wound, but as in the previous buildings that I've attacked, everyone who's training just remains training. Let's first mince words- oh, we were- we have no opportunity to mince words. Uh, okay, then let's just fight everyone to death. Uh, mmm, burnt, damn, that's a lot of first hits. Is Saitama at least gonna get in? Now, burn, you are gonna die immediately, so let's just set you to block. He was taunting, but Saitama has got in so many great early hits. Is Now, burn is not gonna be as effective without that dodge skill. He was having a sword, or he was having, he did have a sword before. So now he's just gonna be ass for a few videos, probably, until he gets stronger. In the meantime, Saitama should still... Should still be as bad as his usual I mean, bad in a good way, you know? Like, he's a bad man like Shaft. Great, great, great job. Wonderful job, my lady. There we go. Oh, damn, I want to see the animations! Ooh, ooh, they're now hostile toward me. Well, as if they weren't before, they attacked me on site. They didn't even give me a chance. Please don't enslave me like the others did. My god, that's a whole arm! That's a whole arm, and we took down the red bandit! We gotta remember where he is, because they're gonna... More of them will probably want to fight me. Burn is down. That's fine, we can repair him with great haste. With great, great haste. The greatest of haste. Now that red saber must be dispatched. Great, this guy who's crawling away as well. Now let's get Burn up. We'll want to repair him quickly, and then we'll kidnap the Red Bandit, bring him back to the Shex, and then everybody happy. Okay, and this should be the Red Bandit. First, let's loot him super duper quick. He's got a horse. We might, yeah, we'll keep that just in case if we decide to do it for something. Now, we'll also take his pants because they're very important. And we'll also have Burn grab some pants. You can't, yes, you can wear pants. Great. Okay, so now Burn is more armored up, if I'm not mistaken. All we need is a belt slot item for him. And Saitama still needs some boots, so let's get some for him. Oh, and they're all rising from the dead like zombies. Ooh. Ooh, that wasn't even a- that was like a more rapid roundhouse kick. No one in here has shoes, though. And the boss didn't even have- he, he had like a heart protector, but no, it does not appear as if he had boots. We're gonna grab him, and then we'll be on our merry way. And now we leave the swamp, and we go back up to Squin to collect a bounty, so we actually have money again. And we're finally making it out of the swamps. 
Ooh, some dust bandits who think that they're badass, but we're ten times badder now because why? Where are you going? Oh, at the range. Very intelligent move. Very, very intelligent move. Great job. Ooh, that was Neo Morpheus things. Uh, more dust bandits. Give us your stuff. Ooh, you are. I want to talk to you. I really want to talk to you. Let's just talk about this calmly. We want your gear, your money. Uh, no, I've worked hard for my money. You brought this out. Okay, so we were peaceful. We were peaceful. And that's how we win our fights. Are we actually going to... No, we will not die. We will win this fight. Let's do this because I find it so satisfying to just speed through and see all the green numbers. Great, look at all the green numbers. Burn's still not that strong in martial arts. He's gonna need a lot more time before he gets decent. Oh, and a bone dog is... Ah, oh, shit! Slavers joined, too! Didn't expect that, but, uh... That's fine, whatever. We could still do it with this guy in our hands, I'm sure. Wow, look at all that green. That is fun! And I love fun! Great, now let's fight off these slavers. Anytime that we see slave mongers or anyone who supports slavery... As long as, as long as we will win the fight, I'm, I'm, I, or I, th I think we will pretty much, all of them in this part of the world, but I want to fight it wherever possible, even if that means severing human limbs and kicking animals in the face, because bone dogs somehow seem to be affiliated. They're like evil animals. They're pure evil. Hmm? Oh, maybe the red bandit wasn't wanted in this city. Oh, crap. No, this was the wrong red saber we got. We have to go back. Back in we go. Almost everybody is still injured here. And there he is, the Red Saber boss. Much better. There we go. He's the one with the big booty. Back up we go. And Mazel Tov. We can finally claim the bounty. Let's just get One Punch Man to talk to him. Yes, great. We have the bounty. We have this another extremely muscular man in jail. I just gotta say, damn, I can't believe that we managed to take this guy down. Look at the size of his quads. Goodbye, Red Bandit. Next stop, plastic surgery. But it seems we're fighting Dust Bandits in between. And damn, we can one-punch Dust Bandits now, almost... Well, wow, right as I s Can you please do something that I'm saying you're doing? Oh, there we go. Oh, damn! It's so much fun when they ragdoll it for a second. Oh no, he's running away like Sasuke! Get him. Get him. Okay, swords. Oh, man, he lost an arm. Well, you know what? If, you, if we can't- if you can't be punched, you deserve it. Great- uh, Come on! Stop running! Man, that guy just ran off both of his arms! <laughs> this will teach you to be evil. And huzzah, evil has been destroyed. I do feel somewhat bad about that. But those are two less arms in the hands of evil. And it's time to get rid of the robo-tits. No more tits. And change the name to Genos. Okay, now it is f it is officially One Punch Man, the series. And we also got a little bit more gear for uh, One Punch Man. Did we... Yes, we switched him into a black shirt. I got this alternate ninja mask. Can he... No room for that. I, uh, we... I... I digress. No, that's not the meaning of that. That's not the meaning of that at all. Um... Ooh, we actually, we did want to find Gorillo. Yeah, that would have been cool. That would have been fun. Ah, that just doesn't say One Punch Man to me as much. Let's leave it as was. Now, I'm thinking that before we do anything else, we should start our fight against the Holy Nation, because the Holy Nation and the Slavers are the two most evil groups of people in this game. So we must be rid of them all. Uh, we're going to attack the Holy Mines. We aren't ready for a large outpost, but something small I think we could work with. Okay, and are they gonna attack me on sight? Light of Akron, bestow the strength of me to purge this- I mean, only crazy people say that when they see somebody for the first time. It's like, shake my hand at least. Wow, we did one- although we're taking a shitload of damage from them, we did one punch them. Just surprised that we took- and alarmed that we took that much damage. Um, let's just disarm all of them. Loot, we'll take off all of your clothes. No more clothes for you! Haha, -ha, Holy Sentinel, be nudified. Great, you're worthless without clothing. Alright, let's put that down, put that on the ground. No more health benefits, not even AARP magazine. 
Okay, let's take away this and grab that and put that on the- Mainly it's the weapon I'm scared of. Yes, consider them neutered. And now to stir up the bees- the, or the hornet's nest. Great, great, great. Uh, so many of these guys have really, really powerful weapons, it seems to me. Like, very large, slow weapons. Somehow we're taking a lot of damage from them, despite the fact that we have such high dodge scores and I turned off the strafe mod, but... I don't know if I like this, mu this many hits in combat. I mean, we'll, we'll test it all against the fog men, but I'm sure we'll be fine. And we've disarmed all of the enemies here. Now we're gonna unlock the shackles of the slaves in here and set them free. We're just gonna pick the two locks, and they're freed. Good, and they do actually... Ah, uh, what are you... Well, just run away, don't... Well, maybe he's taking food or something that he needs. And no, we aren't gonna get killed. Ah, you idiot. Okay, well, we... You know what, let's just take all of these guys and put them into caves. Or, uh, not caves, cages. Great, be free, everybody be free. Everybody is free. Wow, most of them actually do want freedom, that's great, okay. Uh, because I think the one who is still loyal to them is catching me stealing, what a tool. Great, everybody's free! And now, ooh, are all the- Great, all the escaped slaves are actually coming with me, hopefully to, uh, help take out the rest of this camp, or they will just- I mean, to be quite honest, I do not think anyone besides us would survive in the Kenshi universe. So we'll see how they do. Uh, and then, mmm. You know what we might try is to just put the slavers in cages because good luck getting out of there. That would be like a taste of their own medicine. Let's see if we can take out the rest of these guys. Oh, great. So we do actually have help from the uh, freed slaves. Fantastic. Great job. Damn. So good to have allies. So good. Wow, damn. <laughs> good luck blocking that. Okay, now you guys are gonna go in the cages. Well, we've got a high overseer to take out, and then one more paladin, and then we should be done. But okay, he's distracted by our newfound allies. Is Genos gonna make it through this? And what about... Where is Saitama going? What could you possibly be... Oh, he wants to hit the guy on the gr Ah, there's a ballista- m uh, Sorry, not a ballista. A large crossbow man. You know what, let's just kidnap this guy and throw him in a cage because I don't have to deal with that again. And then we'll deal with the High Overseer. Okay, can Genos deal with the High Overseer on his- It doesn't seem as if he's going to be able to do it. So we'll just take him, we'll put him in the cage, and then it looks like this is going to be a Saitama battle. No, no, ooh, ooh, he got stuck. Come on. Good job, good job. Come on, survive. Win, 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 win. Genos needs the, uh, the level up. Okay, good, good, good. Take all the remaining ones. Great, now they all go in the cage. Ooh, a leg! Okay, it seems that the escaped slaves have gotten the weapons of the Holy Nation now, so they are putting up a good fight against them. Uh, we're just gonna help them finish them off. We're gonna take the High Overseer. Let's just loot him. He has some, uh, it's not even that great. Okay, we're just gonna put him in a cage, too. Then. Okay, and finally, the guy who was scared to get out of the cage has, uh, been, is totally fine with it now. We'll just unlock his shackles. So, or she? I think it's a she. What are we supposed to do now? Well, that's up to you. I put everybody here in cages, and now the second floor, you're completely outnumbered by them. I really hope that they don't pick the locks. It seems more just to put them in cages than to kill them all. You know what I mean? Like, we want to we want to teach them a lesson by cutting off their arms somehow or something like that. Uh, it is kind of fucked up, but most of the things that you do in Kenshi will be fucked up. So we have now saved this camp. Let's attack this other poor defenseless remaining man of the Holy... I'm starting to feel bad for them now. But it's probably not worth it. Okay, well, we did a great job. Okay, oh shit, and more of the Holy Nation is actually going to try to attack this. So I'm not sure if we're gonna ever be able to completely destroy- Oh no, this is just slave mongers. Let's just disarm them. Damn, I wish there were a way to do that. Okay, slave mongers, yeah. You know what, there's only so much evil that we can overcome because they'll always- Are those garbage bags? No, they're leather vests. Weird. Okay, well, we'll take out the slave mongers anyway, but after this, we have to give these escaped slaves some amount of autonomy or we're just gonna be babysitting forever. And we'll just break into a last couple of these houses, kill the slave mongers again. There are 
Oh no, that's a hawk. I thought that was a leg in the sky. Okay, now the nomads have arrived. That's probably a good sign. Nomads tend to be pretty peaceful, strong people. They're like Teddy Roosevelt or whatever. Um, so we will let them just stay here and then go on our merry way. Goodbye, holy nation. On our way back up north, let's make a stop at the holy farm to kill more evil people. And more holy nation paladins want to kill us. Surprise, surprise, but these guys are becoming pretty weak. Uh, compared to our incredible fists. Shit, <laughs> nice. And there's a lot of them, but they're really slow and just, like, unwieldy. They're getting in a lot of hits as well, but most of them are against Genos, and Genos has a lot of health that he can tank a lot of that stuff. And it seems like Saitama dodges almost everything that's thrown his way. We'll also want to head north so that we can get back up to the skeleton bed at Burns Tower, uh, because that's more or less the only place that he can rest right now. Unless if we in make a huge investment in getting our own one, which I'm not gonna do. Nope, let's just continue on our merry way. This place looks fairly undefended. Okay, we're fighting the holy farmers. Maybe we'll get to cut off their food source. Ooh, damn, that farmer. That farmer, though. Okay, even though that you're pretty much, uh, you know what, even with your weapon, you're pretty much just the weakest, so. Let's just fight whatever meaningful guards are here and then... Ooh, who are you? Holy, more holy farmers? Oh, we're gonna have to take them all out. Now, I don't know if these people are innocent, but they're working for a terrible faction, so... There goes your arm. Sorry, you worked for the wrong evil people. I don't know why, but the, the animals are joining in too. Wow, these places are almost completely undefended. It's only farmers here. If I'd known about this before, I might have attacked these places because... Those balls are worth a lot in food. Like, a lot, a lot. And they have a few more crossbows, but... I'm content to just beat the crap out of all these people and then leave them with that as their... As their reckoning. I do, we don't have any cages to put them in, nor am I gonna go find any cages, but let's just wreck havoc on the entire holy nation. And although I don't like to kill the animals, we don't want them to have their food source, so we don't want them to reproduce anymore. So let's just destroy... pretty much pillage and destroy everything. Ah, oh, man, hungry pet. No, you could have had so much of the food here. Why would you do this? Okay, well, fortunately, when they all wake up, they'll have hungry bandits to fight, so it's fine. Great job, great job. Let's just take down the rest of this farm. And that one last dude sitting there who's defenseless. Great, okay, uh, mission accomplished. And the second farm. My god, I love beating the crap out of these farmers. But there's nobody, there's nobody at this farm. Oh, no, there are people here. Let's just take them all, and they should all be dead. Well, not dead, but they've learned their lesson. Another day of maiming everything. Oh, shit, they are, they are guarding this area. I don't know if it's possible to take out all of the guards in an area, but like, if it could be done, that would be amazing. Um, are we gonna get our sh- we might get our shit pushed in a little bit. We might, yeah. Paladins- too many paladins around here. And we still need more time before Janos gets better. Come on, you guys are holy- Oh, are they holy servants? I thought that they were slaves. So they elect to be bad. Not bad in a good way, bad in a bad way this time. But, yeah. Alright, we'll win in fights. We'll win in fights again. Yep, 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 come on. Good, all that green, all that green. Nice job, nice job. We totally took out a whole Holy Nation patrol. That is progress. We're gonna dodge around the military base for a little while because we're still kind of weak. Let's just quickly heal back up at Burns Tower. And we're all healed up and ready to go out again. Now the Holy Nation may be crazy, but to me they aren't quite as evil as the... I, like, I don't know the seamy underbelly of their story. It's probably twice as evil for all I know. But... We need to get back to those slavers, because we got our asses whooped at the stone camp, and I want redemption now. Oh shit, there are cannibals here! I mean, cannibalism is not good, we ought to fight that. They're, it looks like they're wearing people, or paint or something. I don't want to get cannibalized, we should be careful here. We should be careful here. Ooh, that is a really nice punch. Nice punching. Good job, but these cannibals look powerful. Ooh, that's a single kick, that's a single punch! That did not take him out, but it was a very powerful punch, nonetheless. Is well, they can't cannibalize Genos, because Genos is a robot, so he'll be safe. And I am take great comfort in this. But is- are we gonna- oh shit. 
Oh shit, no, I don't want to get cannibalized, but certainly I want to stop cannibalism. Great, great, terrible thing, cannibalism. People eating other pe Ooh, great, so we got off some of their bodies. Do you think cannibals would eat each other? I always wonder this, why don't cannibals eat each other? Um, is that like you wouldn't have incest? Well, most people wouldn't have incest. But is it like the same way with cannibals? They're not even bandits, they're just cannibals. Well, that t teaches them right, because they take other people's body parts, so they should learn about what it's like to not have body parts. Great job, great job, guys. Ooh, the samurai. The samurai, I don't think that they like us. Wait, I'm just gonna do a quick test. I'm 95% sure they don't like us. Oh no, the samurai, either they just don't recognize us or they're chill. Jesus Christ, the holy nation ruined everything over here. And we come back to the desert. Ooh, and the holy nation, they don't fuck with the desert, okay. All right, they know their limits. Ooh, some city heroes. Uh, these people should be... Leave my freaking country folk alone with your stupid... They think we're taking their jobs. There are no jobs in Kenshi. Literally, I would say, I would say quite literally, 90% of the people I've met, if they're not, like, chill ninjas, they're somehow involved in the slave trade, and there are just so few slaves, but they make everyone else into a slave. I have no idea how this world exists and all the crazy technology in it, because it's so goddamn unstable. Holy cow, though, we are really strong now. Now it's time to be off to end that slave camp once and for all. Well, they look about as powerful as they were before, albeit they don't have anyone on the heavy crossbows anymore, so I think we might have an easier time, except all of our enemies are currently at their highest health, so... It's gonna be a redo, but I know how to handle it this time. We'll take on the first guards, and it looks like the rest are going straight for the crossbows, but we should be done with these guys in no time. And then... Good, take out the crossbow people. And then thanks to Gecko Bear, I know what I'm gonna do with these... Ooh, damn. Thanks to Gecko Bear, I'm gonna take all of these guys and I'm gonna cage them. I can't believe this had not occurred to me, but it's an awesome tip. Totally cheese-worthy in a good way. And let's just cage all of the slavers. Man, they're all just gonna come straight for me. Now we could take the samurai heavies, let's loot them. Well, they don't even have anything on them, some of them. For Christ's sake, let's kidnap them, then we'll put them in the cages. And then they shouldn't be able to get out. I can't believe how much poetic justice there is in this. Are they gonna try to break out of their cages? He is... I wouldn't be surprised if they did try to break out, but... I mean, at the same time, it is gonna delay them by a lot. Okay, so now we get to 1v1 all the remaining enemies. Abduction, abduction! Well, you kinda did that for a profession for many years. Fortunately, you are fighting me like a man. Oh, we don't even have to go inside to fight these guys. And we're gonna free one of the slaves that they've taken now the sh- Oh, I thought we got the shackles. Okay, and you are free to go! Enjoy your life. Now, it's hard to tell what they're doing. It says that this one is getting a weapon. It looks like he might be trying to unlock himself. Let's just take off all of his armor. If it seems like they're stirring a lot, we'll just take everything off of them and put it all on the ground. That way, when they get out, they're practically defenseless. And great, so now you are weaker and we can take out the rest of the camp. Oh, we gotta get the caravan guards. Don't let any more slaver caravans come in here. And you too, yes, that was probably very suspicious what you just saw, but... Yep, actually two men can single-handedly do this, it turns out. We may not have enough cages for all of them though. Uh, okay, great, let's go in here, grab- we may very well not have enough cages. This is bad. Okay, we are out of cage room here, and I think the rest of them are trying to break out of the cages, but we still got, you know, nine or ten of them locked up in there. Which is pretty good. Go back inside to fight martial arts, and we are re- we are really winning these fights. Christ's sake, uh, as long as we get their weapons off of them. There's like ten more guys. And finally, we have a decent enemy. We have a bounty hunter who's come to attack us for the bounty on our heads. This guy wasn't that bad. He's got good shit. Uh, his saber is real. Whoa. Desert saber. That's... Whoa, okay, we will take that for, uh, for what's-his-face. This guy had really pretty strong stuff. Oh, uh, do we have... Okay, we do have eh, more or less everything that he had. I'm not in it for the money anymore, I'm in it for the justice. Well, it seems like we've taken out practically all of the evil in here. There's a bunch of 
I think it's Manhunters outside? Yeah, there's a pack of Manhunters. They shouldn't be too tough. What I'm more concerned about is the people in uh, Nobleman Haga's house. So we're practically at our fullest strength right now. He should be with his samurai heavies. Is he there? Oh my god, is that him? No, that must be one of the Empire Noble Guards that we really messed up last time. We did a number on some of these guys. Uh, but I think Slave Master, or Noble Master, or Slave Master, whatever his name is, Mr. Haga. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Haga is still here. Genos is... Like, we're really gonna need to take out all the stops for this, so I'm gonna have him continue wielding this sword. Take out the Slave Master. I'm worried about these guys because they're strong. Okay, we've taken out Slave Master Haga, but we gotta take out these hooded Empire Heavies. Or whatever they are. They're really strong, but it looks like we got way stronger somehow. Maybe it's the new gear. I'd say we're about 10 or 20 points higher in our strength than we were before. So it looks like we're actually gonna win this fight! We took down Slave Master Haga's household! Great job, great job. Now chase that man across the desert. Um, no, maybe not worth it. Okay, let's just take out everybody in this house. And all these slave hunters, practically everybody is converging on this position. Even the outlaw farmers who are not such great people themselves. Uh, let's get this, the guardsmen, ho the hooded guardsmen are really the, the worst of the worst. That guy's arms are both disabled. And, you know, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the farmer outlaw. No, you're not even... You're just a slave hunter. Okay, All, almost everyone is bad. Almost everyone. Okay, let's get this guy, and I think we actually have to end this guy's life, because if we do that, um, I believe slavery will come to an end, which, you know, it's for the greater good, so whatever. Okay, this guy doesn't have a leg, though, so we gotta take him out. I'm missing a leg and an arm. Jesus. Okay, uh, yeah, we're gonna want Genos to do it. We're gonna want to sever a limb if we can. And then we'll have, uh, Saitama take him out. I don't think that... What is his name? What is even his name? He's very inconsequential. He just wears fancy clothes. Alright, let's take all of his shit. Uh... That's pretty good. Hashish. Oh, drugs. Wow. Okay. That is... Uh, we won't want to carry around that with us, because we... Oh, we'll take his cats. Luxury... Why? What kind of asshole carries around luxury goods on him? Even these aren't that nice. Okay, let's just take... We'll give him our armor for a second. We're gonna take off everything. And I think we gotta end this guy's life. Alright, and he's dead. Great. Slave Master Haga is dead from the Traders Guild. Now let's go for the other outposts. I guess that's... I guess that's it. We... We took out one of the slave... Places. One of the slave outposts. No, okay, there we go. We have done justice in the world. <laughs> this guy is so bad. He's like, you'd steal from me? Neither of my arms may work. But somehow I'm going to get away. Oh, that is very, that is very upsetting, actually. Come on, just take him out of his misery. And for some reason, the tech hunters have come in and they want to fight us. This guy named Soto, a skeleton? Don't know if he's good or- most of the people are bad around here as a rule of thumb. I think they're just gonna beat the shit out of me and then run away, because we just took out an entire camp of slave mongers. Um, oh shit, actually, Genos is doing some work. Skeleton v. Skeleton. He might win this. You know what? He might win it. Oh, it's like Obi-Wan and Anakin. That's somewhat badass. If only there were an evil skeleton for us to fight. Ooh, and Saitama is gonna get back up. Come on, come on. Great, nice job, nice job. Can we finally take this man out? Yes! Ah, so satisfying. Christ, that guy was strong. All right, uh, we'll take some of his stuff. But then we gotta sleep and get out of here. Well, although more manhunters, slave hunters, and traders still continue to go through this camp, I think with Slave Master Haga dead, uh, this place should start to empty out. Was that Shinobi? Oh no, that was Nobads, my bad. I was gonna say, it would be really cool if the shinobi came back in. I do have reactive world on, uh, so... I mean, hopefully this place will just start to gather dust. Well, quite literally, gather dust in sand, as it is here. Let's go scout out maybe one more slave camp, because I gotta take down more of these places if we really want to end the United City's reign.
Okay, well, I don't think that we're ready to take on an entire city in the United Cities yet with just two men, and it would be nice if we could get some of the anti-slavers to join us in some way. Uh, I want to scout out other outlying settlements to see if we can destabilize the area, because supply chains... Who knows, maybe supply chains have an effect on it, and we can somehow weaken the city before we actually have to go in and take out the, you know, like, the source of the evil. We can, we can get to the supports before we hit the main beams, you know what I'm saying? Or, like, hit the beams before we hit the rest of the stuff. Uh, samurai? I guess samurai are kind of chill. And what is Fort Mirage? We're just going to take out as many United Cities areas in this before we hit the cities. You know what I'm saying. Fort Mirage? With whom are you affiliated? This is a weird place. We should be able to just get in. Open. And let's find out what's inside. Uh, what the fu- Oh, these people are the city heroes. These people are pieces of shit. Let's kill them. Not a good place. Yeah, the- I mean, like... I mean, maybe- maybe one bunch man didn't break into people's houses, but... Still. Still, these guys are dicks. Okay, and the entire fort is about to be- yep, we have taken out the entire fort, taught them a lesson. Okay, onward to the next people. Ooh, they're starting to recognize us as anti-slavers, and they're starting to recognize us as, uh, ex-slaves too, wow. Alright, so we're being recognized for the vigilantes that we are. I like this, we're going on an epic quest throughout the world like Qui-Gon Jinn. Well, I think we've done a good job in the desert. I haven't found anything else in the northeast corner. And I think we're just gonna head down because we aren't quite ready to take out Shobatai and Heft as well as Stoat or all of the Holy Nation outposts, but I do know one evil in this world we can dispatch. And it's an equally personal evil to take out considering my last series. Well damn, the world has reacted. It seems that the stone camp has now been shut down. The main building is in ruins. The entire place is a ruin and the gate is shut. So we did manage to take out slavery at one point in the world. And now slaver heavy guards, I guess, are just standing outside. Looks like a few of them survived, but most of the people are just standing around, so we did take out an outpost. Did we even liberate? That guy should play basketball. Christ. I mean, girl. I just gotta say, it needs to be our ultimate fight to take on the Holy Nation. I never realized quite how many people work for them, but I think it's even more extreme than the Fog Men. Yeah, look here, they come after us. We'll- we'll dodge this one, because there's no way we could fight. <laughs> Thank you, skimmers. And there they go! Great. Good job. Thank you, skimmers. And at long last, we've arrived. Now, before I take on- the three evils of the world. The three evils of the Kenshi world. Yeah, at least, as far as I've seen, I haven't seen the, uh, the skinning- The Skinner skeleton evil people are pretty horrible. Uh, but, you know, they're also robots. The three evils that I have in mind, though, are the Fogmen, a natural evil. The slavers, which are probably some of the worst, and the toughest guys to dig out, and the holy nation. Um, other than that, there is evil shit in the swamps, like evil low shit, and a couple of bosses. But I think it's time to avenge the torso. He needs, he needs avengement for, still, for what happened, because we didn't properly get revenge and destroy the fogmen. I would really like to see if we could wipe out the fogmen. It would be a noble goal and one that we might be ready for now. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. My name's Ambiguous Amphibian. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. The One Punch Man in real life challenge continues as well. If you want to see my progress, uh, come follow me on Twitter. And I'm also doing um, drawing too, because I just like grinds. I like grinds in real life, so I'm taking them from games and I'm trying to apply them elsewhere. Anyway, if any of that sounds appealing for you, uh, just check the links below because there's more updates every day. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.